everyone. As it is coming up to um, Valentine's Day, I thought it would be fun to do a heart-shaped um, design with you. Now this is from Ivy in the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. This is my favourite, I think, page in this book, or one of them. I absolutely love it. And I thought it would be fun to have a go at it with you guys today. And I've got a little idea to actually combine two sets of pencils for this. Now normally I only use one when I'm doing a video, just to keep it simple. But this isn't too tricky and it will work with any two sets that you have really um, I'm going to use a pastel or lighter tone and then a darker pencil so for my pastels I'm going to be using this set there's only 12 in this little pack um, they do do a 24 but I was given a 12 which is lovely so I'm going to start with a layer of the lighter colour and then I'm going to use um, oh, bear with me um, this tin, the Derwent Chroma Flow, um, this is just 24 in here. So I haven't got huge numbers of pencils to pick from, which is quite good for me. I don't want massive choices, so I'm just rearranging my desk. Um, but it just means I have a variety where I can do some lighter areas and some darker areas. And these will be within the same flower. So I will just zoom in a little bit and get started really. Now there are quite a few different designs of flower. As we zoom in you can see we've got this one that's got lots of layers and these that are quite plain and these are a little bit different with petals whereas you don't have to find petals. So what I thought I would do is sort of group them together and do them in similar colours. So this one and this one and this one with this one and this one would all be the same. And then these ones with petals, probably all the same. Um, I think there's another one there, you can't say, down there. And then the ones without petals, like this one and these, and this one up here, will be the same. So then it it makes it a little easier to keep a limited colour. I've only got a few colours anyway to use. And I just think it, it sort of brings it together. Now my plan was to do pink and purple flowers and then a blue butterfly and uh, green leaves okay and I thought that might be quite nice for the heart so I'm going to start with um, in my set of pencils I showed you the packet I didn't show you the pencil we have these and not a huge selection so I've got a pink there a purple there and a pink there and that's it so I've only got three so that's what I'm going to work with and then I'm going to pick out some chroma flows later. I won't do it all now or else it's going to be really confusing. So I'm just going to start with my very lightest pink pencil. And I'm going to do this. Oops, let's just move it down a little bit. This one here because it's quite a complex flower um, with regards to how it looks. Let's zoom in so you can see it. There we go. But I think we can make it quite simple. So with this pink, I just want a layer. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to try to get an even layer. Now, it's not always that easy, but you can take it slowly. I might be going a little bit fast. You can always pause once I've finished if you need to catch up with me because, uh, you know, I don't want you to rush. Now, if you don't have two different sets of colours, you can always just use the same pencil again to do the next stage and it will just add another layer of colour and it will work. But I quite liked, I tried this yesterday on a, on a different picture that I did and I quite like the effect. I will share that picture at some point. I've just realised that this isn't my lightest pink, this is my darkest pink. I picked up the wrong one. It really doesn't matter. It only matters when you start combining it with the other colour because in my other set I've got two pinks and I want to use the darkest pink with this darkest pink and the lightest, if that makes sense. So this is my darker pink. It's a sort of magenta -y purple and I'm going to now take a magenta from the Chroma Flow set, which as you can see is a really vibrant dark pink, and add my details onto this flower. Now I'm thinking about the fact that this is these petals are overlapping, so I want to put in a little bit of shadow so the book keeps moving because it's on the crease. Let me try and hold it down so it's not too distracting. And I'm going to go all the way around this centre circle to start with with a layer of this pink, like this. 
Okay, and then around the first set of petals, just around the edge. It's very basic, and uh, you do need a steady hand for these little details. But uh, as I say, take it slowly. If I'm going too fast, just pause it and take your do it in your own time, because. It's not easy on this page, page is moving all the time, I'm sorry if that's really distracting. As I say, it's because it's on the crease, I'm going to have to hold it up here, I think. So you have to excuse my great walloping finger in shot. Looks like my hands are enormous, I don't think they are. <laughs> I'm just zoomed in. So I'm really just going around the edge of each flower. Now of each petal I mean what you can do if you want to is you can extend that line to add a bit more shading but I think I might just keep it really simple and uh, just do those edges you can go over the black as well if you want to just try not to go actually onto the petal it's not you know if you do you do it's, yeah so fine no need to worry so uh, just uh, just keep going. It's really meditative, I think, going around in a circle like this. I think, there we go. The, as I say, you don't have to use these sets. You can start before you get get going. If you haven't started, if you're not if you're not colouring along, um, just choose two sets, and you can even choose two pencils from within the same set. So if you've got a lighter pencil. Um, in your set, you can use that one. I'm just sort of checking. I think I've missed a few bits there and here. Um, I'm just going to have a quick scan, and that's it. That's oh, and that bit doesn't show up very much. That's how I'm going to leave it. Apart from this middle one, I'm going to just do a little detail here. So I'm going to go around the edge and actually just bring that colour into the centre a little bit just to make that bit stand out now when we zoom out you'll be able to see oh I'm trying to zoom in can't zoom in anymore you'll be able to see the effect of that it looks better I think from a distance not you know art isn't designed for you to put your eye on the page and look that closely so it's quite good you don't want to really look at every single little detail or else you uh, you see all your own errors so i'm going to just zoom out and let you and remind you that this will be done the same here and here down here with this one and this one here and obviously this is a complete symmetrical design so the other side will be the same okay so I'm sort of ignoring that side completely it's just going to be a mirror image I'm just checking making sure Johanna hasn't done anything sometimes she uh, she puts in a little detail here and there but she hasn't there are a couple of berry type circles here and here and here and here and I'm going to do those with this dark one as well in exactly the same way as I did this but I'm not going to put the light pink behind Okay, so I'm just going to go around the edge and gently bring that in and reduce the pressure on the pencil so that it gets lighter towards the middle. Like that. And we'll do the same down here at a later date when I finish. I'm now trying to decide where to put my light pink and where to put my purple. Now, if you're doing this on your own and not filming it like me, you do. I would do all of that, those two colours first, and then both sides, and then I'd be able to see whether I think where the biggest area is because I really don't want loads. I don't want the too much pink, you know. I want there to be, you know, enough purple, let's say. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that these shapes, the ones without the defined petal lines are probably more than these I'm sort of just having a rough count and a look so I'm going to do these in the purple and that will balance out the purple and pink ratio I think hopefully so I'm going to zoom back in for you and do one of these um, purple ones let's zoom right in and then move the button 
and down a little bit and uh, do one of these two. Now we can see we've got a centre part and um, an outside part. As with this one, I'm going to colour the whole thing in this pale purple to start with. Now if you don't have um, pastels, pencils, just look in your sets and uh, find your palest purple and your darkest purple you could use. You may find like, say, if you've got um, 36 Ergosoft, there's two shades of purple. If you've got Polychromas, there's lots of shades. If you've got um, Prismacolor, I know there's lavenders and things that you could use. You can try them together on rough paper first to see if it looks like it's working. Now, in the um, Chroma Flow, we have two purples. Um, I'm going to use the darkest. This is my sort of idea with this, is to go with the really dark. So this one is called Violet. And what I'm going to do with this one is go around this centre part so that the centre of the flower is sort of separated from the rest. I am going to fade this out a little bit and it will look like it's slightly sunk into the middle around the centre, I think. And then I'm just going to do a line around the outside as well. As I say, it's really quite simple. But I did it on a Mandela picture yesterday and it was great fun and um, I was pleased with how it came out. I just thought it would be a nice one to try on this particular picture. Now where it overlaps, I'm going to ignore it. Oh, sorry, I've just got to find my handkerchief. Um, because uh, I don't think I want lots of dramatic shading between plants, you know, shadowing and things. So I'm actually just going to ignore that. Because I want the purple to look like it's part of the flower rather than part of the shading. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's just what I want to do. Now here we have two little buds coming away. And I think we'll do a similar idea to here. We used our darkest colour on these. We use our darker colour on these. And we'll do the same sort of thing. So we'll just go around the edge with this dark colour. This one is really quite square. It says, it's been sharpened in my rotary sharpener. And uh, the end snapped off. But uh, I find the Derwents do sometimes, they're a little bit temperamental when they're sharpened at times. So if I use my rotary sharpener, it's much better. If, I mean, it's a Derwent brand sharpener, so I guess it's designed to work with the pencils, but this one could do with the sharpener. But anyway, there we go. So that's how I'm going to do those. I'm just seeing, there are, see here, let's go, I don't know if we can see here. There are two buds, but this is a different colour flower. This is the um, this is like our dark pink one, so I'll probably do those pink, not purple. Okay, so that's my purple, and then we have this one here, which I'm going to do in my lightest pink. So here is my lightest pink. Um, which one should we do? We we'll do the big one, and we'll just do the whole of it. And we've of course got greenery to do as well and the butterflies. There's a little bit more to do once we've done this flower, but uh, just give it a light colouring. I hope you're all well and happy and having lots of time for colouring. I hope you're um, enjoying having two videos a day. I am. So I hope it's good for you as well. Now I'm going to pick a pink. Now we have in, in the Chroma Flow what's called a Blush pink. Oops, let's get it in the sight for you. It's, it's quite orangey. Is that going to work? No, I don't want an orangey pink. I'm going to change my mind and use the scarlet, which is the red. I think it's going to work better. It looks quite pinky to me. Um, yeah, I've, I've, um, I'm going to do the centre like this one first. Oh, it's still quite orangey, isn't it? Never mind. It's done. What's done is done, as they say. I'm going to go around the edge of these. Yeah, I had a nice weekend. Didn't get as much colouring done as usual because I was out, but it was nice. It's getting used to going back out. It's really odd. And I'm going to go around the edge of each of the leaves. 
but it was nice. It was a little family gathering. So it was lovely seeing family. Didn't see get a chance to talk to all of them, that's the only thing. When there's so many people um together, I didn't get much of a chance to talk to my mum. But I talked to her every day on the phone. And uh, apart from weekends, every weekday. And uh, there's our flower there. That's quite vibrant, isn't it, compared to the others? I hope that's going to work. Okay, greens now. Now we've got a mix of greens here. I will just show you. We have actually got... Now, I think the top one is actually a blue. Sometimes I find it tricky to tell. The middle one is still a bit too bluey for my um, liking, so I'm going to use this one. I think this will work with these three colours. And again, I'm going to go over a leaf or um, the, like this, just lightly in the green. It's quite oh, it's quite yellowy, isn't it? Like this, and then use the darker colour. For the thin stems, I'm going to go with the darker colour rather than and all the stalks rather than worrying about using this colour. Okay, and I am going to pick this green here. Oops, this is the grass green from the Chroma Flow because it's for me it sort of matches some of the other. There's a sort of olivey green which is called foliage and a very dark green. I just don't think it will quite work. And I'm just going to go around the edge like I did for the uh, flowers and it's really straightforward now I'm not going to do any of the um, vines or stalks with this at the minute because it needs sharpening because it's quite blunt so uh, try and get right into the edge if you can I'm trying okay so that's how I'm going to do the flowers and leaves this one seems quite vibrant if you don't Although that one is too, I've just noticed a bit I've missed. Um, there we go. I think I'm not fit. Anyway, <laughs> that's that. Now butterfly. Um, hang on, I'm got to. I have to zoom out a bit. Oh no! There we go. We can see it. Now, I have got two blues I'll show you. Now this one is slightly more purpley and this one is lighter and I'm going to use them both. I'm going to use the more purpley one for the body. You can, it's a really pretty colour I think. It might not show up once we've coloured in our next colour very much but anyway it doesn't matter. So that's the purpley one and then this one for the wings. I'm actually just going to do the whole thing because I have to leave all my pencils out. Um, no, it's because I might get confused as to which blue I used for which. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get this done just for me really. So you'll have to bear with me. It won't take me long. There we go. These are really soft. So they're very nice to colour with and they're easy to get an even, easier to get an even tone than some other brands. Right, now for the main body I'm going to use a really dark blue and in the Chroma Flow we have a denim and look it's really dark. So what I'm going to do with this, similar to our flower centre, I'm going to go around here and then just fade. Oh, I did want to say to everyone, thank you for all of your lovely comments. I've been having some really, really lovely comments, both on my um, Facebook page, my Instagram, and on my videos themselves. And I just, it's really lovely. Although I really enjoy doing my videos and, you know, I... I just hope that everyone's enjoying them. It is really nice to see a little comment here and there. Just, um, you know, it's, it's, it's lovely. So thank you for taking the time and effort. I know not all of you can do that, 
a um, little bit tricky if you're watching on a TV, even on a tablet. I find commenting really difficult. So this is blue that I'm going to be using for the um, main parts. I'm just having a think. I, hmm, I am actually going to colour in this outside bit here in a layer of blue, I think. I want it to stand out a little bit from all the flowers. I think it will anyway because it's blue. But uh, like that. But yeah, it's been really lovely. It's uh, it's very kind of you all. And uh, yeah, but do um, if you haven't visited my socials, do have a look. It just reminded me. I'm going to go around the edge here. I do publish pictures of um, because I do colouring, not just what I record, but other colouring as well. I post pictures of my completed um, pages which uh, I think you know you might like to have a look at maybe um, so there's that to see I'm just thinking sorry <laughs> and um, just trying to make those a little bit more even what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of shading in here we haven't really done much on the rest but just think it will look better there we go um yeah so it's been um have a look on my socials i've got an instagram a facebook reddit pinterest all sorts of things but i share most at the moment on my facebook page so take a look at that if you can and um, the links are in the description as are the links to all the materials that i use i did get an ask about my tripod it's an ancient old tripod um it's a manfrotto tripod i'm going to ask my husband because it's his if he can find the equivalent one and i'll add it into my bit about the equipment i use if anyone for anyone that's interested but that's me um done for this um i am going to go away and finish this at some point probably tomorrow actually because my son's home from college so i'll finish it tomorrow and take a photo for the um for the uh, thumbnail picture so you can see it completed but that should I'm just having a quick look but that should give you everything you need to uh, to complete the uh, the picture and uh, hopefully it'll look quite um, pretty and Valentine'sy once it's done so uh, it take a little while but because the um, background of each flower is just a quick covering hopefully it won't take too long and uh, I think it'll uh, be worth it anyway. So thank you for watching. I've, uh, I've gone on for long enough. So uh, I hope that was okay for you. Um, and as I say, I do like it if you leave a little comment or a like, or if you subscribe, it's always really lovely. So thank you to everyone that does that. And uh, have a lovely day and happy colouring.